Hello, my name is Joey Damaris. I'm going to teach you how to create a rule in Microsoft Outlook to better organize your inbox. As we all know, it gets very cluttered and can hurt productivity and efficiency if not taken care of. Uh, Microsoft Outlook has a built-in automatic tool that allows you to create rules and organize and move messages as they come in based upon some certain or specific uh, attributes. Where it's coming from, who it's from, uh, who it's to, if there's attachments, um, a whole different kind of special kind of tools. Um, so let's get started here. Um, I'm going to open up Microsoft Outlook 2010. Um, you're going to notice I got some folders over here already created um, and right here in the top pane you're going to manage rules and, and alerts uh, I'm going to go with a new rule now here let's take a look at this they have some built-in templates for you already um, moving messages from someone civic words in the subject line you can also uh, just kind of go with a blank rule if you'd like or you can which is uh, in the options portion um, which is you just kind of add things as you want or you can go with any one of these templates it's probably pretty simple to go with one of these templates um, right now we're gonna just gonna go with moving a message from someone to a folder I right, click next now here's all the different options and criteria you can have that will trigger the rule to happen uh, from people specific words in the subject line through a specified account, sent only to me, importance, sensitivity. Um, you can even get into the message header, which is a little more specific and technical and advanced. Um, different properties, form names, date span, etc. Um, to apply a attribute to a condition, click on the hyperlink. This is for your global address list in your exchange so I'm gonna add myself I mean you have all kinds of different people you can add groups as well um, which will then filter in through everybody associated with that group uh, next uh, here's your second condition which is pretty much what to do this is the condition that sets it off this is the next thing is what do you do when that rule is set off um, as you can see here we have a ton of different options uh, deleting it assigning it moving it which is what we're doing folding it uh, re specific message to reply clear flag print it play a sound perform a custom action which is probably a script you could write in VB something like that uh, for now we're just gonna move it oh and it'll tell you when you haven't done something right and that was a good <laughs> indication uh, so click on the specified folder um, as you know, I already have a couple already made, but I'm going to create a new one just for now, which will help you organize um, later on down the lo down the line. You don't want to just have one folder and stick everything in, then you've just created a second inbox. Um, usually, this is for things like I have uh, I have like my company, departments, uh, and then specific people, and this just helps me keep better tabs on my emails as they're coming in um, which is what you'll be doing eventually for now it's going to say move to the folder now we have from me to that folder uh, here is the exceptions now the exception is if you want to kind of have a blanket rule like everything from a specific company um, is really not vital to me but uh, specific emails with specific words in the subject line or um, from a specific person in that company or in that domain so on and so forth will need to come through um, and not be moved or not be trashed or not be um, followed through with the condition you set uh, for right now we're not going to do any exceptions but you can get kind of creative with this if you'd like um, now you would name the rule however you want I'm going to keep it as me because usually I'd have a folder named me um, you can then run the rule on the inbox, um, which will kind of clean out anything in your inbox 
um, and pretty much run the rule on demand as opposed to letting it kind of come in with um, as a normal functionality. Once you click finish, this rule will now be implemented. You'll see it here. Um, it'll be part of your Outlook. Once your Outlook client is open, it'll exercise this rule. Uh, you can run the rules now. You can change the rule. You can copy it, delete it, um, export it if you're changing computers and you want to import it into a new Outlook client or you're upgrading Outlook, something like that. Um, alerts are something a little different. I'll get into later. Um, and that's going to be it. Hit apply and you're done. Thank you. Hope this helps.